All right, so a roll for the Terminators. Boop. They do come in, so he's gonna get those in. We're, grab one of your Terminator models and stick a spot. I think this skull probably is gone. Is it? Yeah, because I'm not within six inches of it. You should have a little, uh, right here, a little, he's one of those guys. BCP measuring stick. Yeah. Gone. So I got rid of that, and I got rid of that one. That's good. That makes me sad. Yeah, deep strike like the rest of us. Except for I actually have an icon. Cool. Let's go with... Here. Wow, going for the risky move. That is kind of risky, but he's going for it. That could be could be crazy. Ooh, that's a long. Eleven risky. inches this way. A little more like more like that. So he's like right under, he's tucked right underneath there. So then he'll spread the rest of those terminators out around that. Ah, oh, you should be fine. Right. So he's gonna do that, and the rest of the move will come back. Okay, so for simplicity's sake, we decided to put this guy up on top of that piece of terrain, even though he fit underneath. It was mostly so that we could fit this guy around, and this guy was the one that ended up in the terrain, so he has to take a dangerous terrain. Um, he's fine. And they all just get stuck right there, or deep strike right there. They're outside an inch of those fiends, so everything should be just dandy. Um, and then he'll, uh, this guy right here is, is just Carthon, and then he's got his librarian right there. Where'd you move? All right, uh, Vindicare moved up, trying to be useful. I don't think he's going to get much done this game. Dread Knight I wandered did, up this did way. did try and do that on purpose because he's gross. Yep. Uh, these two whoop, are going to face plant. Awesome. All right, these two scooted up on the road. This one used the uh, extra six inches from, from the road. road. That one popped smoke. Uh, moved flat out and didn't move. Cool. All right. Where are we shooting? All right. Uh, we'll start off with the Twin Link Multi Melt on the Soul Grinder. Okay. And he gets to do this because he has Power Machine Spirit. So even though he went over 12 inches, which wouldn't allow him to regularly want it, Power of the Machine Spirit does allow him. He's so. within melt range. I'm going to try and take that Soul Grinder out right now. Yep. So, uh, Ballistic Skill 4, and you're Twin Linked. Miss twin linked. That's a hit. Okay. Two dice to pen. It's armor 13 on the front. Oh no. Four. 12. So it bounces off. Oh, lame. Because soul grinders are armor 13 right there. That's awful. <laughs> soul grinders don't have any kind of save. That's terrible news. Huh. They have the shoot the storm ribbon out of the sky save. That has worked well. Well, yeah. They, they are immune to stunned and shaken results as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this Cyback is going to shoot at this squad. Okay. So, so assault cannons, four shots. You got the dice over there on the other side. Okay. Everything hits. What's their toughness? Uh, their toughness is four, I believe. So that's two ups. Their toughness is three. I better check. Blood letters are toughness four. Cocked. So uh, one rend and three regular, or which the cover is actually going to be their best save because I think their armor save, they don't have an armor save, they just have an invuln of five up. Blood letter of corn. Yeah. Five up. And I'm pretty darn sure they don't get the. Iron high rule, but we'll check just to be sure. So, yeah, they just get Hellblades. Okay, so four up cover saves. So one dies. Hard to time seeing that guy. Six, five, five. All right. So we'll pull, it doesn't really matter, everyone's out of range, so we'll pull this guy right here. First blood to the Grey Knights. Actually, right. first blood to the demons for killing one of their own. <laughs> that counts. All right, uh, they are going to put all kinds of storm bolter into that squad. Okay, storm boltering into the fiends of Slanish. So that's 12. Yeah, very corn-like looking fiends. No, sorry, 20 shots with regular ballistic skill, and then 
I'm pretty sure the librarian has the same ballistic skill. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. Saves me time. Three. I could be wrong about that. Five. All right. Teams of Slanish are toughness four with two wounds apiece and a five up on their sword. So. Nine. We'll probably lose some of these guys. Of ones. Now you roll, there's 10 of them there or 11 of them there? Uh, there's, there's 11. Uh, you nine rolled. regular plus just Carthon and the library. So did you roll 22 dice? Yes. Okay, cool. You said the number 20 and I got confused. Did I? Oh. It's totally fine. All right. My confusion. What's their toughness? Toughness four. Okay, so four up. No, 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 no. So. One more three there. Yep. It's two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. Oh, gross. So that's that's enough that if I don't make some saves, the entire unit is going to just go pop, fly back into the warp. Okay. So looking for lots of fives and sixes. This is okay. Wow. So awesome. That was really good. Asked for. I did. The, the gods like me. All right. So I lose two models. One, two, and one takes a wound. I can survive that. All right, so let you go away. Not the, well, we'll keep this guy. He has the unholy might, so we'll take that guy instead. Okay. And demons are fearless, so we don't need to take any kind of check. All right, sounds good. Anything else you got for me? Nope. All right, so uh, starting off, let's see what comes in for me. My turn four. Here we go. Uh, blood letters? No. See that? There you go. Uh, other unit of fiends? No. The uh, blood crushers do, and the other soul grinder does not. All right. So these guys come in, and I can put them. If I put them within six inches of my herald, they do not have any problems. So I will do that. Just to save this time. So here's the herald. Zoop. There's the original model, and then I put the other two around them like that. Perfect. Okay, I'll do my movement and we'll come back. Uh, so movement. Move the soul grinder up. He's going to take a shot at this thing, try and blow it up. If he doesn't blow it up, he's going to charge it. Move the keeper. The keeper, I mean, I can't I can't not do this. The keeper's going to move up. These guys moved up. I moved these guys over. They only moved to four. These guys, of course, drop down. We'll make a run with them right now. They will run six inches. Motivated. Um, yes, they are. Now, um, I have the pavane of Slanish um, ability. And the way that works is it's um, it's a ranged weapon with a uh, range 18. I rolled a hit as normal. If I hit, then I immediately, they, the guys immediately dance. They, they have to move a D6. I can, uh, the, the fire can immediately move the target unit a D6. This movement allows the same rolls as normal. So I can't move within, I can't, I can move them into dangerous terrain, but I cannot move them into uh, off the table, out of combat, into a passable terrain or within an inch of an enemy unit. So what I'm gonna do with this is hopefully, first off, hit, which I, I have a ballistic skill of four with the keeper, so we'll see if that works. And then the goal is to move them this way so that the blood letters can charge them. So we'll see if it works, here we go. No, so Bloop. it didn't work, that's great. Uh, going to this guy here, he's going to shoot at uh, that guy, He's got. he's gonna use his tongue again, so he's got a uh, four to hit the thing. He does hit this time, it's strength 10, so a two will glance. It will pin you, you get a cover save from going uh, flat out, which you make. Okay, so far, no good. And now I have to ask myself, is it worth it to go into combat without the blood letters here? Um, well, knowing that I can't move these guys now, we're gonna move the blood letters and run them. They run an inch, that's real helpful. Um, and then we'll move these runs real quick and then we'll go to assault. We'll just make this nice and quick here. So these guys will move six inches. Move the blood letters an inch. I definitely needed those blood letters. 
be in. That would have that would have probably sealed the deal on the Terminators. There's enough guys there that they could have avalanched them with power weapon attacks. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll go ahead and assault. So fiends and this guy. And then you're going to come back. So I'll switch your camera and you go ahead and pile in. Anybody who's not in base has to get into base. The he definitely wants the uh, the librarian base with someone probably. Well, he has to if he can. Which he'll, so yes, the library he, the li he gets to choose. The librarian go after the keeper, or the librarian can go after the. Uh, let's go after the safer bet for the now. Bet. He's going to go after the um, fiends. It looks like. For placing, can you move through like that? Well, what, well what's going to happen is this guy's going to move first, right? So and he's right. going to move out of the way, and yeah. then you move that guy. Okay. Like that. Then something like this. How far do they move? Six inches. Yeah, so. Yeah, in this case, they just ignore any difficult terrain. They just move in. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, psychic powers. Uh, might have tightened. Oh, no. Oh, poor librarian. Take, take a invulnerable save. Reroll successful. Reroll. And do it again. He yeah. did. He did it again. Go library. But no might of Titan. All right. And hammer hand from the Terminators. Hammer hand from the Terminators. Hammer hand does go off, so they are strength five. Okay. Um, my, uh, I believe my guy goes first. He's initiative ten. It's depressing. It's, it's, yeah. Maybe it's a little depressing for you. Yeah. Only not so hand. not so depressing for me. So. Initiative 10, six attacks, so seven attacks on the charge. And he's got uh, assault and defensive grenades. And uh, let's see. These other guys have the musk. I want to know what the, I got to find out what this. Make some smell. Like the, the musk. Oh, I have hit and run. That's kind of cool. So the, the uh, these guys right here are going to have hit and run if they want. Oh, I should I should say that we are going to assault here. The soul grinder is going to assault the star right here. Intent was clear. Uh, okay, so starting with him, he's got six attacks, seven with the charge. It doesn't get high. Needs threes because he's weapon skill eight. Oh, that's awful! <laughs> wow, wow, that just saved a whole lot of gray knights. Look oh, at that. Oh man, that is just awful. All right, one hit, two to wound. He doesn't even wound. That's amazing. All right, well, nice job, Keeper of Secrets. You just threw away your life. All right, at the same time as the uh, Halibur guys. Wow, I can't believe I did that. That's just insane. That was, that was awful. They are weapon skill four. Uh, wow, maybe fiends aren't. Huh, it's very possible that the fiends are going to swing after your hammers. Really? Yeah, that's. After hammers? Or Not hammers? Ha after halberds. Okay, wow, that's really impressive if they go after a power fist. Uh, yeah, that's great. They're beasts, but that doesn't help me at all. Okay, so yeah, they're initiative five, so you're... All right, I have three halberds fighting the uh, greater demon. Okay. What do I need to wound here, fives? Uh, fives, to, or no, fours to hit, let's see. Yeah, fours to hit and fives to wound. Wow, okay, and you roll. Well, that's not really well. And then what to wound? Uh, fives, because I'm toughness six. All right. I believe I'm toughness six. Let me check that. All right. Well, it's going to be one either way. He might be toughness four. I mean five. Yeah, if he was toughness four, that'd be really bad news. He's no. five. He is... Where is he? I've got the Herald, but I don't have the... Let's look at the actual... Keeper of Secrets. Toughness six. So, yeah, he's toughness six. He's okay there. Right, I cannot believe that I didn't kill anything with him. It's ridiculous. All right, so one save for him. All right. He's got a four up in bone, which he didn't make. Right. That's just leadership check. Wow. Bane bane. Yeah. I do. Well, you have anything else swinging at him? You're, uh, it's, it goes. I've it goes at the end. I, I do the demon bane at the end. Okay. Well, then these are the halberds on the um, fiends. Okay. Uh, weapon skill five. Yeah. Or weapon, I'm weapon skill four. You're both. We're both weapon skill four. And fours or threes because I'm weapon skill. Or I'm toughness three. 
So three. Bones. I made two of them. Uh, the fiends can make in bones. See, the guys can't. All right, so that takes off a fiend model because I had one that had, had a wound already. Okay, uh, now my fiends go. They're initiative five. And they've got rending claws, so they don't actually have power weapons, which is awful. And they've got five attacks apiece, so six on the charge. So that's 12 attacks. One of them... Uh, is still the guy that has a uh, strength, extra strength. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll black. Black is the guy that has strength five. That's yeah, well, maybe it will do more damage. It ought to do more damage than that piece of crap guy. Oh, look at that. I just rolled awful again. Wow. Jeez, dude. That's what you get for not being a space marine today. Oh. Painful. Three wounds. One of them is rending. Okay. Yeah. So, assumedly. I'll keep it. Well, well, one of the things we do is always roll on the table. So always the, roll on the table? Yeah, okay. so people can see it. So, armor saves. Yeah, okay. Fine, and then invulnerable save for that rending one. Yeah. He's is dead. gone. So. Well, if you take it on. Oh, you didn't say ahead of time. Yeah, so. Um, let's just get rid of. This halberd, since he already did his business. Okay. Um, All right, and then we're gonna check gonna rending go. claws just to make sure that uh, we're doing these things right here. I'm assuming that it's just gonna be their claws that rend. Right. But better rending claws. Rending claws are a pair of close combat rending weapons, and it's. Already the bonus is already included in the profile. Okay, cool. All right, so now his hammers, or not hammers, I'm sorry, swords. All right, uh, the one sword on the greater demon. Okay. Missed him. And then, so as long as I can make my test, I'll be fine. Uh, on the fiends, the black ones of the librarian, for what it's worth. Uh, he'll need threes to hit, because he's weapon right. skill five. So four hits. And one wound. Wow. All right, so one wound on him, he'll take a wound, which he will not pass, so one of him took one wound. All right, uh, all right, so let's see, you won combat by one. No, by two. You did three wounds, I did one wound. Wow, that's just ridiculous. Okay, so here's a test for this guy to see if he doesn't drop dead. He's fine, I believe, on an eight. Better make sure of that. Can't say I know everything about Demons. Fiends. Yeah, leadership 10. So they don't care. And of course, my Keeper of Secrets is going to be leadership 10 as well. So as long as I don't roll ridiculously high here, I'm fine. He's fine on a 5. So uh, now I have to make two armor. I lost by two, so two armor saves. So here's, or yeah, two invulns. So here's two invulns for the Keeper. He's going to take two wounds because he's ridiculous can't do anything, and all the other guys, they took two wounds as well, so I'm down to one guy. And then did you take the demon bane checks? I did. Awesome. Wow, okay, you were, oh, the soul grinder. Let me, show me something good here, soul grinder. Just give me one six, that's all I need. Blam. There's a six. And he's strength 10. 12. He needs anything but a one or two, so that's 10. a 10. Pinning, immobilize, which wrecks you because you flew fast. Oh, crush. So, Whopping nothing. Got rid of that guy, at least. Might have had my silly keeper of secrets almost kill himself and not do anything, but... All right. So we'll pile in there, and then uh, we'll be great at movement phase.